Zakhar Baruch, good morning, Botai. Uh, last week we were speaking about some of the halachot of Suda Shlishit, the most preferable thing to, uh, to hold it with, as opposed to other, uh, other things, bread, mizanot, the chule. A very, very common occurrence during the winter of Botai is as follows. What would be the halacha if a person, let's say it's getting close to Shkiah, you prayed Mincha, and now it's just about Shkiah, uh, or even right after Shkiah, before uh, it's still been a Shmashot, before Tzedek Chavim, you're allowed to sit down and do Netilat Yadayim and eat bread and have as long a Seuda as you want because once you Kovea Seuda on bread, Havdala does not play a role. You can finish your meal as necessary as long as it takes you. The question is, what happens if you're not having bread? What happens if you're one of those that says, you know, I'm, I'm too full, I want to have Mizonot, I want to have fruits? If you're eating it before Shkiah, the Seder. But now what happens when Shkiah comes? Don't forget, on Motzei Shabbat, the Gemara Meforeshet, Masechet Pesachim Dav Kufhe, the Gemara says that once uh, Shkiah on Motzei Shabbat comes, that creates a Chiyuv of Avdala, and you're not allowed to eat before Avdala. So now if you're eating Seuda Shlishit, Ketikna, fine. But if you're eating Mizonot and uh, fruit and stuff like that, what, what would be the Halacha? Be'emet, Daruch HaShulchan, in Siman, Resh Tzaditet, he says Meforash, that the Halacha is that you would not be able to eat Mizonot at Shkia, you're done. You would lose Seuda Shlishit because now the Chovah of Abdala kicks in no more. Many poskim hold like that also. I'm going to be Moshe Levi in Menuchat Ahava. Many, many poskim concur. It would seem to be a machloket how to understand the Gemara in Psachim Kufhe. It's a machloket Rishonim. I'm just trying to condense it a little bit because the Gemara just says if a person was drinking wine, a person was drinking wine, he has to stop until he makes Abdala, then he can continue. The question is, is that Davka drinking? What about foods? Foods is okay because that's more of a kviyut? Or do we say anything that's not a motzi is not a kviyut? La'alacha ul ma'asi, Maran Tukunam Racha, in Chazan Ovadia, Shabbat, Chilek Bet, rules that if a person did not eat Seuda Shlishit, and Mizonot is going to be his Seuda Shlishit, La'alacha is even after Shkiah, a person is allowed to sit down and eat Mizonot, and use that as his Seuda Shlishit. He's got to make a hard stop at Setek Chavim, which is about 15 or so minutes later. Stop right there. But he only extends this heter to Mizonot, not fruit, not other foods. So that's with regards to that Rabotai. So it's Kedai, especially now during the winter, to be careful about this issue. Have a wonderful day.